Today, I'll be showing you how to set up the new jump throw bind in CS2. As of August 19th, the old bind stopped working and Pagu as well as Ratty CS came up with the new way. But before I show you, here's a quick word from today's sponsor, Skin Place. Skin Place is a platform where you can sell your CS2 skins instantly and quickly withdraw your money. All you need to do is log in Steam, select the skins you want to sell, pick your cash out method from all these different options, then click receive money, and in a couple of seconds, you get your payment in your account. Don't forget to use code NART to get an extra 3% when selling your skins. Use the link in the description to sell your skins now. First thing you want to do is go down to the description of the video where you will find a has been link which was provided by Ratty CS. Copy the binds listed. Open up a new notepad. If you don't have an auto exec, go ahead and paste it in here. So as the binds listed here, H is going to be used to jump throw. Now, if you don't want that, go ahead and change the H listed in the binds here to whatever key that you want to use to jump throw. Then you're going to save the file as autoexec.cfg. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now we need to move the autoexec into our config folder, open up Steam, go to your CS2, right click, properties, installed files, browse, then you're going to want to click game folder, CSGO folder, CFG folder, drag your auto exec inside the CFG folder here. The next step is to go back to your Counter-Strike 2 inside Steam, click on properties, go to general for the launch options, add this plus exec space auto exec dot CFG. Then click X and now we can load up the game. When you're in game, when you press the key that you set as you jump throw, you should jump. So I press H, I jumped. If that doesn't work for you, one way to troubleshoot is open up your console, type in exec space auto exec, then enter, and then try the key. There we go. To use the jump throw bind, press the key that you set it as. So for me, it's H, and I'm going to press left click on my mouse at the same time. So for me, H and left click on the mouse at the same time, which you can see I smoked top con perfectly. The issue with this bind is, let's say I have my smoke pin pulled so i'm holding mouse one left click and i'm pressing the h button to jump throw you can see there's a delay so in order for me to use this bind efficiently i have to press h and left click at the same time there's no delay there the other issue with this bind is i can only throw one smoke so if i try to throw it again i'm not jumping so there's a huge delay in between throwing consistent nades maybe this one will there we go that took like three to four seconds for me to get the next jump. The bind I just showed does not have a run throw bind. So that's a W jump throw bind. So in order for me to throw this instant with no smoke, I will have to press W with my jump throw key bind, which is H then left click. So I'm pressing W H and left click all at the same time. And that should be able to land perfectly. Vinny came up with a W jump throw bind where he says, bind it with minus attack space bar plus key plus W together. So what it looks like is for me, the key is going to be X space is the default jump. And then W is the default plus forward. I'm going to put this bind down below in the description to use Vinny's W jump throw bind. I'm pressing four keys at the same time. So I'm pressing W X space and left click on my mouse at the same time. This was the old way in CSGO to do the W jump throw bind. And if you want to put this in your auto exec config, you can just go ahead and copy the binds that I'm going to list down below in the description and paste it into your auto exec config and save it. If Valve chooses to remove the jump throw binds that I just showed, what you could do next is set up macros for the keyboards. So I have here Razor and Wooting that we're going to show off. Shout out to my moderator Digio for helping me out. If you want me to cover the other brands, make sure to like the video. If this video reaches over 2000 likes, I will make sure to go to the store by the other keyboards and show you how to do so. To set up the jump binds on a Razer keyboard, open Razer Synapse, click on Macro, click Import. Go to the description of the video where there's a Google Drive link to download these files. Choose one of the files, select it on the right here where it says Keybinds. You're gonna choose your keyboard, choose the key you wanna bind, and then hit Save. Repeat the same process for the W jump throw. Go to your binds, select your keyboard, choose the key you want to use, and hit save. 
once you've done that, the jump line should work in CS2. Inside the Google Drive link, there is a jump throw notepad inside the jump throw folder. Open that up and there's four commands listed. Put all of these four commands inside your console. Navigate to the Wutility website. Wait until your device connects. You're going to hit go to Wutility. On the left side, choose a blank profile. On the bottom, go advanced keys, then choose dynamic keystroke. Choose the button you want to use as your jump throw button. I'm going to use one. Hit continue. We're going to build this custom bind right here with the extended characters. You can choose any buttons. You don't have bound to anything else, but I'm going to use the numpad minus enter and plus. You're then going to assign it like this and hit done. For your forward jump throw, do the same thing. Hit dynamic keystroke, two, continue. This was gonna be slightly different. I'm gonna use the numpad again, but I'm gonna use the multiply sign. And then just like before, minus, enter, plus. We're gonna assign it like this. Hit done. Save to keyboard, and then we're going to go into CS. We're going to input these binds that are binding the old jump throw commands to the keys we selected earlier. And once you've done that, binds should work identically to how they did before the patch. You need to make sure you pull the pin before throwing, and it should line up identically with all the old lineups for forward jump throws. You could also use the wooting profile code and I will link that below in the description. So this was a tutorial on how to set up jump throw binds through config or through macros on the keyboard. If you found this video useful, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel because if Valve decides to remove the binds or mess with the macros, I will try to find new workarounds so you don't want to miss out. And if you have any further questions or any issues with setting up these jump throw binds, make sure to join my Discord. Link is down below in the description and I'll help you set that up and I will see you all in the next one.